cost of Trump's border wall just revealed, there's one reason media doesn't want you to know. The Department of Homeland Security has crunched the numbers, and they have come up with a figure which it would cost to construct the impenetrable wall along the U.S. border with Mexico, thereby preventing millions of undocumented aliens from entering the country illegally. However, there's one reason the media isn't reporting on this groundbreaking story, and it will make your blood boil. President Donald Trump has delivered on the promises he made to voters during his campaign seemingly faster than any other commander-in-chief in history. He has turned the economy around. He has brought jobs back to America. He has defeated ISIS. He has lowered taxes. Trump also took a strong stand against illegal immigration on the campaign trail, vowing to build an impenetrable wall along our poorest southern border with Mexico. At every turn, Democrats have stood in the way of HOTUS achieving this goal, but that doesn't mean he has given up. Now, the cost of constructing Trump's wall has been revealed, and there's one reason in particular that liberals do not want you to know the figure, namely, that it is far less than taxpayers are forced to spend each year on the illegal immigrants who flood across our border with Mexico. That's right, we spend more on illegal immigrants each and every year than the one-time cost of building the border wall Trump has promised. The Department of Homeland Security's 700-mile border wall would cost just $18 billion or $1.8 billion annually for 10 years. The Trump administration is asking Congress for nearly $18 billion to construct more than 700 miles of new and replacement barriers along the southwest border, its most detailed description yet of the president's vision of a wall separating the U.S. from Mexico. The request would be a major expansion from the 654 miles of barrier now, bringing the total to nearly 1,000 miles, about half of the entire southwest border. Source, The Wall Street Journal when you crunch the numbers, Trump's border wall makes absolute sense. The proposed $1.8 billion per year cost would consume less than 12,08 th of the 2018 federal budget, expected to be around $3,800 billion. In turn, the wall's cost would be offset by a reduced northward flow of illegals and drugs, so cutting the federal government's cost for welfare, unemployment and policing. Source. Breed Bart. However, despite the fact that this figure seemingly could not be more fiscally responsible, the Democrats are still pushing back, claiming that the $18 billion it would cost to construct Trump's wall is outrageous. Funny, they don't think that spending much, much more than that on illegal immigration each year is at all outrageous or irresponsible. Latest White House demand on immigration $18 billion for a border wall. Outrageous tweeted Senator Dick Durbin. President Trump has said he may need a good government shutdown to get his wall. With this demand, he seems to be heading in that direction. Perhaps Durbin is just pandering, as we all know that Democrats do not care one iota about spending federal money or racking up our national debt. Or, perhaps, he hasn't seen these numbers. Using a widely agreed-upon estimate of 12.5 million illegal immigrants in the country, it was determined that those illegals, plus their estimated 4.2 million citizen children, cost taxpayers about $134.9 billion annually. That number breaks down to about $45.8 billion on the federal level and $88.9 billion on the state and local level. Meanwhile, it is estimated that those same illegals only contribute about $18.9 billion in total taxes paid. $15.4 billion federal and $3.5 billion state and local, leaving a grand total annual burden of approximately $116 billion on American taxpayers. Thus, the annual cost of Trump's proposed border wall expansion is quite literally only 1.5% of what Americans are already paying every year to cover the costs imposed by illegal immigrants. For what is but a fraction of current spending levels, the country can not only significantly reduce illegal entry into the country, but also reduce the amount of crime, illicit drugs and human trafficking that add untold costs to society, with the building of Trump's border wall for a mere $1.8 billion per year. Source, Conservative Tribune Make no mistake, President Donald Trump will accomplish this, 
just as he has managed to come through on the rest of the promises he made to the American people. The border wall makes sense. It is the responsible thing to do from a financial standpoint, and it is in the best interest of all Americans who would benefit from the decrease in crime that would come along with less illegal immigration. These numbers are just the icing on the cake, the cake.